Hello, hello! Perfidious Pete here, ready to rev this baby up and live my life a quarter mile at a time in XCOM War of the Chosen. Well, that's right. That's right. I've got a need. A need for speed. Wait, that's, that's not a line from Fast and Furious at all. I'm actually pretty sure I'm confusing my vehicle-based bromance slash homoerotic adventure fantasies again. Pretty sure the one I quoted just had planes in it and a lot of Val Kilmer, but maybe it's because I still got a little bit of Iceman on the brain. Probably. No, oh, you know, I do have to admit that the Paul Walker tribute scene at the end of Fast and Furious 7 would have been so much better if Ludacris, Vin Diesel, and Michelle Rodriguez had just all strapped on a couple sets of jean shorts and played a little beach volleyball instead of watching Paul Walker play with his kid in the surf. Anyway, there's a babe in a halter top about to drop a do-rag on the street, so let's get down the nitty-gritty and get this run started, shall we? We're doing an all-skirmisher run. It's time for us to get fast and furious. Nobody's got speed like the skirmishers. We're going to put them to the test, see if they're worth a damn at all. We don't need a tutorial. Beginner VO is off. We definitely want subtitles on. Again, we're going to be playing on Commander, not for the difficulty factor of not playing on Legend, but just for the factor that I'd prefer this campaign be about 55-ish episodes like the previous two gimmick runs have been. I really don't want to stretch it out to go 90 at a time. Iron Man, no, we're going to not play with Iron Man mode again for the same simple reason as I always do in that I would much rather spend time playing XCOM than editing together pieces of footage when this game inevitably crashes, which given the mods I've got going does happen occasionally. Enable the Lost and Abandoned, no, we're good with the Lost and Abandoned not enabled, we'll just get a random. Chosen from the start, integrate downloadable content, yeah, put in uh, all the DLC, that's fine, let's do this. Off we go then. It's cutscene time. Accessing the feed now. Accessing the feed. Show me some footage of that. No, no, cut to the beast scene, and this time edit it in so that they're playing volleyball. Because I don't care about watching not Paul Walker run around on a beach with Jordana Brewster. That's no ordinary gene therapy. Also, that kid was ugly. You were telling the truth. Putting that out there. You really would have think if Paul Walker and Jordana Brewster had bred and produced a child, it would have been vastly more attractive than whatever that little homunculus they had on the beach was. Because that kid was ugly. You don't mix Paul Walker's genes with Jordana Brewster's genes and get an unattractive child. It just doesn't happen. What was that? I feel like it just a uh, cold shoulder, cold shiver ran up my spine. I think, I think I'm about to get fired. You're not very good at your job, though. That is the fastest great job anyone has ever received. He's looking right at her, though, and he can't see her in the grate. Come on. Fastest great job of all time, though. She climbed up there, opened the grate, climbed inside, pulled the grate, and then locked it back after herself. She must have, like, a Doctor Who-style sonic screwdriver or something in there. With the accelerated timeline you placed upon us, mistakes are bound to happen. Yeah, Vaz Morton Matal. Pretty sure Etan Bataille means shoot him in the face. There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. You know what? Stand up for yourself. This is why you never got promoted to head scientist, Bob. It's because you're a sniveling wimp. If you'd stood up for yourself, Maybe, uh, I don't know, asserted your dominance a little bit. You could have been head scientist instead of getting pistol whipped by a reaper. Technically, it's a knife, but same same sort of thing. So, you do exist. They say that uh, most of your brain shuts down in cryo sleep. All but the primitive side. The animal side. Wonder I'm still awake. Uh, could you get me out of this tube full of green slop? I'm bored in here. Not a YouTube feed or anything on the inside of this helmet. Sick of this shit. Now nope, I'm just gonna... Well, you know, Pitch Black would have gone vastly differently if they hadn't let Riddick out of cryo sleep, and when it came time to unchain him, they're just like, nah, shut the tube back up. Been a much different movie. 
lot of Vin Diesel references, Pete. Is that somehow significance? You know, probably. I'm not a subtle man. We're going to be doing the gatekeeper mission, though, so for the overall theme of our Fast and Furious campaign, you're going to have to wait. Well, I mean, 11, because John Ginboy Bradford and his patented more Balotin brand gin are about to come and destroy one. I'm still trying to figure out who this guy is, because he looks like an actual person. That dude with the hair, he looks like he, he, it's like a cross between Bill Cosby and Denzel Washington. I think, you know, probably Denzel's getting the worst end of that bit, but maybe, maybe the Denzel part is the part that doesn't rate. That's also not right, though, because there's a little bit of Morgan Freeman chucked in there, too. Not that Morgan Freeman is raping. You, you, I'm talking strictly, you know, best. Let's go back to the Jordana Brewster, Paul Walker, and Ugly Kid thing. Let's just revisit that, because it still doesn't make any sense. Yeah, boy, they looked really fun getting thrown in the back of a paddy wagon there. That's exactly the way I love to celebrate most of my holidays. Incarcerated. Probably about to be taken off to some black site facility and then taken in and waterboarded before being put to the guillotine. You know, I honestly don't know, after all of the lore that we've absorbed the number of times we've played through this, I still have no idea specifically what Advent is doing to people. Are they using them to convert them into Advent? Are they just boiling them down into, like, human DNA smoothies where they're just injecting it into other people? What the fuck's your overall goal here, aliens? Yep, he's activated the gin detector. <laughs> well, your Bradford's gonna set it off. Uh, you can't say more Balotin. John Bradford actually has a copyright on the term more Balotin. You're, you're violating his copyright, and John Bradford will defend it violently and not in a court of law. No, you see, Bradford owns more Balotin and all the subsidiary rights. You can't have it. See? Never fuck with John Bradford in a court of copyright law. He will destroy you. Okay, Gatecrasher, we're gonna skip you completely and instead go do the other mission where you two people don't get a terribly scripted death. Is that okay? We'll just take four competent troopers and put them on the ground instead of sending you two in to just die. You know what occurs to me? I started this campaign and I didn't reset my character pool, so like probably we're gonna have all Val Kilmers. Probably should have emptied my character pool before starting to run. Don't worry, it won't be Val Kilmer. That was that was last time. We got a new thing coming for the next run. But it occurs to me that this will likely be much Val Kilmer. He, he, okay, Val Kilmer's like, he's doing a, a cameo in this one. He's so good. Actually, never mind. None of these are Val Kilmer's, but it looks like we do have some Templars. I suppose that could just happen when you're playing with Lost and Abandoned Turned Off. It just generates a squad, like a roster at random, and then gives you some of them. We'll see who these are. I bet at least one of them turns out to be a Val Kilmer or something. Oh, uh, hey, you guys, your Jumbotron out there is glitching out real hard. Somebody should probably look into that. One of these guys is John Bradford. He's actually on the roof. Squad concealment active. We got Arthur Etz, Malin the Jacobson, warriors, my followers Real Kuznetsov, okay. Energy. Yeah, I'd really rather just have Humberto Vega. It's the greatest name of all time. He's like Bradford with a mohawk. Yeah, could you shut up though? We already know that you're that we already know that you guys are kind of broken good. We did a whole campaign full of y'all last time and it turned out to be exceptionally powerful. We're going to go with something a little different this time, guys. Stop trying to hoard all the glory, you pig. Let other people have a moment in the sun, will you? Oh no, I'm geist. Everything's about me, 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 me. Arthur Ertz, I really like your hat. Also, you are fast as shit, and you have either spotted or been spotted by a pod. Spot. These guys make up the bulk of the Advent forces we've dealt with. Well, you're right. Advent does make up the bulk of Advent forces there, Bradford. That's well observed, sir. 
Pete, I'm pretty sure Advent Troopers make up the bulk of the Advent Fort. No. In other news, water wet, sky blue, gin made of juniper. It's the most obvious statement anyone has ever said for Bradford. I don't suppose you have a grenade. Oh, you do have a grenade, Krill. Well, let's get you over here. First off, get you a little closer. I just want to make sure we've got their detection radius fully mapped out here. Looks good. Want to make sure we're going to be able to slip in behind here. My goal is to pop that pod with a Granado while people on the roof do all the murder. You're near the target position. Yeah, it's, you know, it's just a Jumbotron. We'll get it, Bradford. Don't worry. I don't want them getting high quality instant replays. We'll do. Plus, the kiss cam, call me crazy, just seems really contrived. I hate the kiss cam. Location confirmed. Jacobson, is there anywhere we can get you on a roof? Nope. Well, I was hopeful we could put Jacobson on a roof and maybe get a little overwatch shot. I have to wait for next turn. We'll go for the patented overwatch Granado ambush. Those guys aren't going anywhere. All right, Ertz, you're on overwatch. Jacobson, overwatch. Umberto. I know you're going to be golden on Overwatch. Umberto's on Overwatch, and... Krill? Two pieces. Give him the old Granado here. There it is. Alright, no kills, but you did hurt everybody equally. Never let it be said that Humberto Vega is not an equal opportunity employer. Yeah, come running at me and get shot to pieces, though. Well, that one's going to live. Great shot, by the way. I, you know, you good assessment of your own abilities. It was not good. You're right. Humberto, how could you do this to us? Only one of you managed to score a kill? Unbelievable. Yeah, you're going to be shot, too. Okay. I mean, you are, in fact, the focus of their attacks, and really, you should be dead right now with a giant hole in your torso, but somehow you managed to live. That guy foolishly went on Overwatch. Well, 72% chance to hit for Ertz here. It's not going to get any better. So you can core his brain for five damage from up here, but you can't actually just... How come the loot wound up all the way over there? Like, we splattered him so hard his loot went flying. There we go. And done. And done. Okay, Kuznetsov, let's uh, let's settle your shit down a little bit here. Yes, I know how momentum move works. And also, we don't have parry, so we're not going to be able to do that. Let's get Kuznetsov a little bit closer. Humberto Vega, you know, I hate to say this, Humberto, but I'm really disappointed in you. Really disappointed, Humberto. And your mother and I, you know, Humberto, I'm not mad. That's affirmative. It's disappointing. Mother and I worked hard to put you through battle college so that you could come out like Ender Wigan. And instead, you're no Ender Wigan. You're no Ender Wigan at all. You're more of a Peter Wigan. Although, you know, Peter does become, read more than just Ender's go. tale. Peter actually does become quite important later in the tale. He's actually remarkably influential. So is Valentine Object and her secure. sister. The this is not good. Yeah, it's going to be my goal to try to take that Advent officer out, probably with uh, a little skirmisher dashing up to see if he can't maybe melee that dude. Going to be very difficult, though, given the distance. Also, almost certainly won't generate a kill. So you can murder someone if you can hit them. Five to six damage. See, that's not a kill, but it is a kill on this Advent Officer. If you hit him, he will be dead. Take him. This can't fail to kill. We've only got one turn to act here. Let's make sure to make it count. All right, Krill Kuznetsov. Don't go all Ricky Gervais on us over here and remind us about how, you know, God doesn't exist and existence is a laughable fallacy. We don't, we came for a comedy show. We didn't, we didn't come for, we don't, we don't care about your, this isn't what we're paid money for, Ricky. We didn't come to be told that we're all stupid and naive for choosing to believe in a higher power. Even though I agree with you, Ricky Gervais, and you know, it's just like 
bunch of like mythological bullshit for largely outdated social paradigms. But you know what, Ricky? It's not your place to tell people how to live. It's, it's your place to make us laugh, not make fun of us for. We paid money for this, Gervais. Stop being a douche nozzle. Okay, you know what, Humberto? I was a little salty with you earlier, admittedly, but uh, I've come back around and I think you have uh, you've redeemed yourself. Move into position. It's, let's get you down here and put you on Overwatch. Our main goal is to just try and keep you from... Just to try and prevent this guy from coming in on the flank. You're unlikely to hit him and even less likely to kill him. But, you know, maybe you can scare him a little. Just try and frighten him. Yeah, we're, we're in trouble. These guys are the worst. They're, they're real bad shots, though. Like, terrible. I don't really want to feed any more kills to that man. I would love to see Humberto Vega take this kill instead. Humberto, you think you could? You know, wait, Humberto, you already got a promotion, though, didn't you? So, Arthur, you need one here. Let's... I'm on the move. Make this easy for you. Come up here, whip a grenade into this man. Get ready for a surprise. Pineapple flavored surprise. Okay, you didn't kill him, but you did destroy his cover, and that's gonna enable our girl here. Who, by the way, Malin Jacobson, you should be dead. It's a miracle that you are not. Don't go stand there and set yourself on fire. Instead, just come stand like right next to this dude and shoot him in the position. mouth. Hey, uh, I love that you have only an 85% chance to hit while putting the barrel of your gun literally to his forehead. Picked up an ability point for the flank shot as well. Now all we gotta do, plant the explosive and get the hell out of here. Humberto, you know what, buddy? Reload. What if reinforcements arrive? Ain't there are no reinforcements on this mission. Everything is hard-coded. Don't, you know, don't, don't judge me. Don't tell me how to live my life. If I want to believe that reinforcements could happen, you know, this is a real Ricky Gervais scenario here. Don't disabuse me of my naive fantasies. It's not your place. Menace one five. Rendezvous at the extraction point. You got it, John. We're on the way. That's where again? Ah, apparently we were already there. Well, it's the quickest rendezvous of all time. So, a flawless mission, despite the fact that that probably should not have been flawless at all. It, in fact, we got, like, had two guys take flank shots at us and miss both of them. And again, how lucky did those guys get that none of our Overwatch shots hit Hey, Speaker Ryan's talking about his tenure as Speaker. He'd be like, just a small bump on the pathway to salvation, a footnote of history. Don't, you know, do you, Paul Ryan, don't, uh, don't dismiss your own contributions like that, buddy. Maybe selling yourself a little short. I don't think you'll be remembered as an obstacle. You'll just mostly be remembered as ineffective. There's a difference between being ineffective and being objectively an obstacle. We're not too worried about the fact that Volt didn't get a promotion because he's probably fucking fired anyway. We're not going to level up any of our troopers. We'll... To the research labs. Yeah, we're going to have to, you know, reconvert them all anyway. We'll do some changeovers in between scenes here where we edit in personnel and such. In the meantime, let's get some cut scenes here out of the way. Of generating immense power. You're completely harmless to human life. That's because you only bone aliens, specifically dead aliens, Dr. Tygen. We have this conversation every time. Every single time. Wait a minute, you know what? Maybe Tygen's not talking about his penis. Maybe he is talking about the giant glowing power source. It's like a bad dragon for Dr. Tygen. It's like, Pete, I'm going to chase the dragon. Found something. While removing you I'm chasing the a dragon's a euphemism for opium and not a euphemism for using a large oversized sex toy. You wouldn't have maimed me. Yes, I'm aware, Dr. Tygen. You're trying to given time and your make excuses for the fact that you botched an operation and have permanently scarred me. Which you know, I'm not really interested in your excuses, though, Dr. Tygen. I'm really, really not. are indeed impressive. I am but one man. 
were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially... Typical scientist. First thing he does is ask for more funding. A farewell, Commander. Yeah, farewell, Dr. Tigan. As always, our meeting has left a bad taste in my mouth. We're going to start doing modular weapons, although hybrid materials is also interesting. I believe hybrid materials gets us to mag weapons faster, but... Odd weapons is fine. For this campaign, actually, weapon modifications may make a difference. It won't be like our last campaign where they were literally useless because we had nothing we could put them in. This time, we actually will have some weapons that can take modifications. There's our soldiers right there. Huh. Really? We didn't use our... That's weird. We didn't use our Q. It doesn't matter because all of those people are also fired and they're going to be ultimately replaced by skirmishers, but still. It's interesting. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. You know, the one thing I will give Lily credit for here is she didn't make one of the R's in Rover's name backwards like the Toys R Us logo. That's the only way she could have made Rover stupider, is if one of the oars had been backwards. You were probably expecting to see my father. No, as always, Lily, I was expecting him to be long, long dead. Tell you yet. He's gone. What a surprise. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's yep. work. Gave his very last cup of pudding in service to humanity. to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be See, sure Lily, you know, you don't have to lie to me. You, you don't have to humor me or tell me about how what great love Dr. Shin had for me. We actually had kind of an acrimonious relationship. I made fun of him, called him an Alzheimer's patient. He largely ignored me and paid attention to both his work and his pudding. Let's not paint things with a rosy colored brush, shall we? Let's just, you know, sometimes it's okay to just call a spade a spade. Walks like a duck, quacks like a Commander, duck, swims like a armory. duck. Sometimes it's a swan. Over to the armory, then. Leaving the city, you must miss some of it. I the food, the warm beds. Honestly, none of that really bothers me. What I miss the most is my equipment. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. So what Doctor Tigan is saying is what he misses most is his equipment. He's using that as a euphemism for his genitals. Don't worry. Saying, I miss most the fact that I can't really find a moment's privacy to masturbate. All right, Dr. Tigan. Well, you know what? We'll give Dr. Tigan his moment of privacy and we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. I got some off screen maintenance to do here. Might as well get started. We're going to have to hire a crew of all skirmishers. We're going to check out next episode and see the run actually get started Don't here. Blame Shen for wanting to keep an eye on Tigan. But at this point, we need all the help we can get. You know, Bradford, your conversational drop there is a little bit of a miscue because we have yet to establish the fact that Lily doesn't trust Dr. Tigan yet. In fact, so far, they've seemed the fairly armory. amicable. You know what? I'm not going to the armory. I'll get to the armory later off camera, lady. I got shit to do and off camera at that. So let's wrap this up. If you've enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. If you'd like to see the animal side of our brain surge to the fore, break out of our chains and ghost Johns, that piece of shit. Might consider subscribing as well, post new episodes of XCOM every single day right now. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon, quarter mile at a time.